All right, we have been sitting for a while. We are going to do a little warm up. Um, it is going to work on shaping and muscles that we're using for what we're going over today, which today we are focusing on the butterfly chest to bar, but we're also gonna talk about how to get there, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is work on hollow dynamic shaping. If you do not have a hollow where your lower back presses to the ground, you're gonna tuck, do 10, 10 hollow rocks. Eyes are gazing over the toes on the horizon. That is the hollow shape. When you are done with 10, look at me. <laughs> yeah. All right, the second shape you need for the butterfly pull up is the opposite of the hollow, the arch. Lots of people call it the Superman. 10 Superman or arch rocks. Squeeze your glutes, long body. Extend your body. Very good. All right. You're gonna stand tall. Feet are gonna be together. Glutes are gonna be squeezed. Rib is gonna be pulled down to neutral. Wrists are gonna be in kind of a snatch grip. We're gonna shrug, come up, do gymnastic style pass-throughs because our feet are together and really, really tight and we're creating a lot of tension. Five of those. And then we're going to straddle our legs we're going to work on eye gaze and balance. So we need a lot of air awareness when we do anything gymnastics like. So we're gonna tap our right foot with the right um, PVC bottom and then I'm gonna follow my PVC around and I'm gonna do three windmills. You will probably lose balance. Your eyes are gonna follow your PVC. You should see your PVC the entire time. Your arms should be straight. Mine did not bend. Look at your PVC. I want you to look back. Yep, no. Keep looking at it, keep looking at it, keep looking at it. There. Do three on the right, three on the left for me. Keep that elbow locked out. If you tell your body what to do, we want to do it. If elbows stay straight, you should be able to control that through space. The more you can do here, the easier it is when we add momentum, strength, power, and all of that. Remember this morning, I love going after Sage because I can relate so much of gymnastics to what Sage says. So remember what Sage told us about the PVC pipe? If you can't do the Bergner warm up well with the PVC pipe unloaded, how are you expecting to be successful when you add load. So when I tell you guys keep your elbows locked out and you have trouble just controlling your body moving through space here, when we add something more difficult, it's not going to be consistent. That's what we're trying to build, the muscle memory, the neurological components. All right, last step. We're going to get a little bit more into a clean grip, meaning our, we're going to be about a thumbs width and we're going to keep our um, rib neutral and we're going to shrug as tall and as short as possible without bending our elbows. Look at me. Elbows are straight. I'm just using the upper back muscles, the lats and traps. 10. Good. All right. Put the PVC down. Come on in just a little closer. I'm going to have you moving definitely a little bit, but the workout involves about 400,000 chest to bar pull ups. <laughs> so, I'm no, just kidding. So, we're going to take what we know um, from this clinic and then kind of apply it to that. So, we're not going to be going crazy right now with, um, with just repping out chest to bar. So, 
once. Uh, first, I'm Pamela Gagnon. I write um, Mayhem Gymnastics. You may love to hate me on certain days of the week. Um, thank you so much. It has been so much fun working with Mayhem and challenging you guys and also having um, cycles where you can really focus on one or two skills. Um, so I get tons of questions about butterfly pull-ups, especially chest to bar. So I'm talking with Josh Malone and I'm like, you know what? Let's do this one. We haven't done this in a clinic in a um, train with Rich yet. So let's talk about the most important thing. Pulling in general, strict, kipping and butterfly each have a purpose. If you are omitting the strict, you are not laying a foundation. If you are omitting kipping chest to bar pull-ups, you're omitting your prerequisite for a bar muscle up. Watch. Here's a kipping pull up. Here's a kipping chest to bar. Here's a bar muscle up. So you want to get really good at bar muscle ups? Start learning how to do kipping chest to bar where you can pull below your ribs. That's going to get you there. How do you do that? You build the foundation. What's next? Butterfly, what's the purpose? Speed. It's really a dead end skill. There's nothing that like, it doesn't, strict leads to kipping, which leads to bar muscle ups. The butterfly pull up is like its own entity. It was built by CrossFitters to go faster. My favorite comment is not one pull up was done whenever I post anything about it. But if you know my, what I post and what my theory is, my theory is, yeah, you better have that foundation. Why? One, you're going to just get stuck on the struggle bus. Two, you're going to hurt yourself. If you don't have the strength and you add momentum, it is like saying you can't overhead squat 175, but you're going to try and squat snatch it. You just added momentum. Momentum adds like three to five times your body weight. So when you're traveling through space up on the rig, you have to be able to control the weight of your body plus the addition of the momentum. We want to do this. I am 48. I want to be 70 years old and still on that rig. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about why we don't hit our chest to the bar. Let's say we have all that. Well, oh, actually, let's say we don't. One, you're lacking the strength, okay? Work harder at the strength movement. Two, you forget it's a pulling skill. You're relying too much on your lower body. Gymnasts are like made like triangles. We are really strong up top and we have very tiny legs. So because everything is upper body pulling, I have worked very hard at my squatting, by the way. Um, and we aren't patient enough. Our brain is going immediately to the final position and we're forgetting about everything in between. So today we're going to work on the really the, the pulling and the patience because I can't make you stronger in about a 20 minute, 30 minute seminar. So I know, I know, I know. All right. So here's what I need you guys to do. We're going to spread out. We're going to go through these um, things with our PVC pipe to understand what we're doing up there. All right, so spread back out to your um, PVCs. The first thing that Sage talked about was grip and stance. Gymnastics is very similar to Olympic lifting. It's just we are the object moving through space. We're not moving an object through space. So grip, let's talk about it. Look at my grip here. If I pull down, my elbows go there. Look at my grip here. If I have a flexion in my grip, when I pull down, my elbows go back, right? So wherever you are gripping and pulling is the path of your pull. So the first thing is going to be, I want to challenge you to get a little bit more flexion in your wrist, which means the bar is going to sit a little more on your palm when you're up on the rig, not bar rig. It's going to sit right here. One, it's engaging the larger forearm muscles. Two, it's pulling your elbows in the right position 
to hit the chest to the bar. Let's talk about grip stance, right? So if you're having trouble hitting your chest to the bar in butterfly pull-ups, but you have the strength, here's probably why. You might have too narrow of a grip. So if I can't open up my chest, I'm getting stuck right here. If I move my grip, my chest can open and I'll be able to have a little bit more width. If you go too wide, you don't have enough stability and strength. Think about a dumbbell. If we hold it way out here, no stability and strength. Way in here, tons of stability and strength. Out here, we need to build those muscles to be able to control it, but we're able to still pull in a better position for chest to bar. So grip matters. So one, over with a slight flexion of the wrist, two, slightly a little bit wider than your pull-up grip. So we have room for our elbows to pull the bar to our chest. Let's talk about shape. So at the top of a kipping pull-up, we hit in hollow. Why? Because when we go to bar muscle up, we're able to pull straight down. At the top of a butterfly pull-up or chest to bar, we hit in arch. Why? Because we're grazing in a different way. It's a completely opposite, um, it's completely opposite shaping of the kipping versus chest to bar. Um, let's talk about timing. So in order to have the right timing, we need to have good body awareness. So we're going to practice timing right here. What we're gonna do is put our feet together so we build a lot of tension in our body, squeeze our glutes, and I want you to tug the bar down, straight elbows, elbows are straight, wrists over, flexion, good. And I want you to pull a, the bar around and then the through and pull your ribbon. Let me demo it before you do it. So go ahead and drop your PVC pipe. So here's how it goes. This is the rig. I'm hanging from the rig. I'm pulling it down, elbows send back, pull around, back into hollow. Arch, hollow, arch, hollow. Do three of those on my count. Ready? Everybody up, elbows straight. Pull down to active position. Your back muscles are fired up. Glutes tight. Good. Ready? Pull down, graze, and hollow. Pull down, graze chest, hollow, hit. Pull down, graze, hollow, hit. As we get better, we can go faster. We don't have to think about it. All right? So well, the point of this is understanding how our body is moving through space and what muscles we're using. So if you noticed, I got, I got you first your grip, then I got you tight using your back muscles. So I'm hanging on my arm muscles, not my ligaments and tendons, then, or my shoulder muscles. Then I had you move into shaping, right? So we're getting into the arch. Once we hit that chest, we pull into that hollow. Once we get our upper body, then our lower body can figure out where to go kind of moves together in sequence. Third, uh, next, after the timing and body awareness, we look at the eye gaze, the path. So where you look is where your body tends to go. So for a chest to bar butterfly pull up, where do you think you gaze? Anybody have an idea? Yes, yes. 45 degree kind of on the horizon. Watch what happens. If I'm on the horizon neutral, watch what happens if I change my gaze to 45. My chest is already open. I'm right here. So I always like before, um, especially in my gymnastics days, um, when we tumbled and did tons of flips and spins, our coach would always say, find a spot on the wall you're going to spot when you set for your flip, right? So when I'm ready to jump up on the rig, I look at the ceiling, I'm like, I'm gonna stare at that pipe right there. And I have my eye on it the whole time. That's very helpful. So those are the four things I want you guys to really focus on. Now, we're gonna get into um, groups of three eventually. Um, and we're gonna go into 
the first skill set of learning better butterfly pull-ups and butterfly chest to bar. If you do not have a strict pull-up, you can still do some, this work strict. I do not recommend a athlete who does not have strict strength, solid five slow controlled pull-ups to even consider butterfly pull-ups yet. It's not to say down the road they're not okay. And that's really for the safety of your shoulders and building a foundation. So once we get to the workout, I can help you guys out if you're not, if you don't have the strength yet. Um, I'm gonna show you the issue with people that don't have the strength. I'm gonna face this way because I want you to look at what happens to my shoulders. That is dangerous. I am not strong enough to hold tension through the skill. So over time, you are gonna have some junk go on. That's what kind of gives this kipping a bad rap is we haven't really set the foundation. Watch what it should look like. And this is just regular pull. So I'm here, I'm not here. I never fall out of active position. You might be like, well, that's exhausting. I'm using so much muscle. Well, right, you're strong. Is it exhausting snatching heavy weight? Well, yeah, but it's because you're strong. You can do it. So I can do 100 like that. It's because I built the strict strength. All right? OK, so here's what we're first going to do. Then we'll get into groups. The first thing we have to do is figure out, are we strong enough to do butterfly pull-ups in general? I actually was introduced to this by one of my very good friends, Sean Bellas, out of Miami. It's a strict shaping butterfly, basically. Um, I love getting things from all sorts of coaches. So I wanted to give him props for um, introducing this many, many years ago, and I use it with every athlete. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the strict strength and also the shaping. So first strict, pull up into active, elbows are straight. I'm gonna pull up behind me, through, back down, see my rib? I pulled back into hollow. Up, through, back down. Up, through, back down. It's very purposeful. I'm moving my body through space knowing exactly where it is going. I have not yet put the lean in. We're just working on basically the active hang, the strict pull, and the, um, I guess, sequence of events that's going to go on. Good? What I want everybody to do is, what did I write? Three sets by four reps. This is not with momentum. I should see a very clear up, front, down, rib, pulled in, and tight. Got it? If this is difficult for you, you can grab a box. You're fine. You didn't know I was using this space. You can grab a box and do the same thing with your toe on the box. Up, back, forward, here. And remember, pull up first. That's, initi that's the initial movement, active hang. So if you need a box, if you know for sure that you can't do it, you can still do this drill and get strong. Got it? All right, everybody get into groups of three. Similar height is helpful. And we're going to do three sets of four strict butterfly shaping. It's going to be just a little bit uh, wider than usual. So go ahead a little bit wider. A little wider? Yeah, so because, watch, if you're here, you're going to get stuck. Here, you're open a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Go ahead now. Pull up. Mm -hmm. Good. And then pull the rib. Yes. Up. Mm hmm. And then rib. Good. Better? Yeah. Cool. Really nice. Good. Hold on. First, let's stop the swing by pulling into active. So, boom. 
Yep, squeeze that bar down. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Okay, at that very final spot though, we lost a little bit of control. I could just see by the sweatshirt just yeah. moving. So I want you to really think about keeping active. Come down. So I really want you to think when you come back through the front to keep, like not drop yeah. low, keep active where you have lots of space here. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Forward, back. Good, okay. Now um, get lazy in your hang. Now pull without bending the elbows. Oh. Yep, okay, get lazy again. Now pull, straight elbows. Good, lazy, pull. Lazy, pull. Good, relax. That's where I want you to be in that active hang, in that pull at the bottom of every one. It's gonna take you a little more concentration to get there because it's not a natural thing. You're welcome. All right, let's see what we got. Very nice, good, good, good. Okay, so excellent start. You started really slow, okay. you can come down. Okay. I love how everyone's talking to me about their hanging. <laughs> so um, you started strict and then you started to wanna rush okay. it. Cause okay. it's hard. Yeah, Yeah. and you wanna get yeah, let, yeah, exactly. So let's just go one single and I'm gonna spot you through it okay. for timing. All right, slow, good. Pull that rib down, ready, up. So, good, excellent. When you, re relax. Remember, we're gonna just gaze right now, right here, don't drop okay. your head. Okay. Cause it just kinda makes it more uncomfortable to be honest, okay. more than anything. Okay. Then it's gonna put your chest in a weird position. Okay, okay. Good Perfect. job. Thank you. There you go. Is that right? Yep, okay, drop down for a sec. Okay, one year grip is a little bit narrow. So. Okay. What happens is why we grip narrow is because we want to tend to use our biceps and pecs a little bit more oh, than our lats. lats. Okay. Yes. Okay. So just get a smidge outside okay. where your normal grip is. Okay. And I'm going to spot you through um, so you can pull a little bit higher to it. Okay. Ready? A little bit. Yep. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. Slow down. Good. Slow. Pause. Rib down. Good. And jump down. Good. So we just want to make sure that we do one rep at a time okay. because if you miss the final quarter, mm -hmm. that's really the most the important timing. because that's the coming down portion okay. where all your power is being generated okay. into these shoulders. Okay. So we want to keep that really okay. safe. Awesome. Okay. Better grip. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right. Come on down. The yeah, you did good. Um, you just, every time you come to the bottom, you want to, you tend to want to pike, which is gonna not be in a good position for like our kipping and our shaping. So if you can jump up for me, mm -hmm. good. Now bend your knees behind you just a little since we're at a little bit slower. Now keep that there because it's gonna keep the angle of your hip. Now go, pull, mm -hmm. good. And then tuck the rib, yep, and eyes up here. Good. All right. One more time. Pull. Up. Over. Down. Rib. Eyes. <laughs> That's all right. Relax. We're going to do it one more time. I want you to say what you're going to do out loud. So if we talk ourselves through each step, we won't forget it. One cue. See, remember how I said pull. Over. Down. Rib. Whatever works for you. Okay. And I want to hear it out loud. You can take what I'd said. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Now just get the head to not. Yep. Pull. Over. Down. Rib. Yes. Much better. Much better. Nice job. Good. We got three sets of four reps. When you are done with that, meet me over here. Yeah, your grip is a little narrow. Okay, go a little wider. We got to build lats. They're wings to fly in gymnastics. Get a better grip over, over the bar. Nope, not thumbs. Just roll, nope. Roll your wrists over, watch. Look. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Great strength and control. Good. Now, can you pull a little higher? Uh huh. Almost. So that's what we're going to work on to get the chest to the bar. The higher we pull, the easier that chest to bar will be. Did somebody? Yes. Good. All right, come down. Love, love the like control and the um, purposefulness of each movement. Only thing I would fix is at the bottom, we want to re-tuck that rib. It's going to get us. The point is, which I will talk about a little bit with longer the, with the everybody. Stuff. Yeah, so in order to scoop well, we want the rib into that hollow. Okay. It's kind of a prerequisite for what, what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Tuck that rib down. Yes. Right. Just super slight. Yep, at the bottom. Because the bottom's where we kick. Yes. And then rib. Yes, good. And then rib. Yep. Nailed it. Beautiful. Good. Now, the reason you're swinging is because you're not tugging the bar down as you're pulling up. So I want to actually bring that up with everybody, if that's okay. All right. All right. Everybody, come on over here. All right. Super excellent. Now, I can tell just by watching that who's going to be on the struggle bus and who um, took the, like, the, uh, opened the door and got off the bus by how high you are pulling. If you have the strength behind it, where's Bailey? Over there. Bailey. Bailey! Somebody volunteered you, which I will not say who, but you may know him very well, to demo some uh, butterfly chest to bar. It's okay. No, no, you don't. don't We're just gonna go. You go with chalk, chalk. All right. Let's watch Bailey's chest to bar pull-ups. I listen. This was not my idea, by the way. This is. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Just a few chest to bar butterfly. Um. Yeah. Both. We'll watch both. Good. And she usually wears grips. Good. Watch the wrists. Good. Awesome. You can do backwards. Uh, yeah. Turn around. Good. Beautiful. Bailey, you're the best. You may or may not have a conversation with the person you think who volunteered you. Okay. So what did we notice? The grip was kind of over, right? Now she does have a more narrow grip, but Bailey's stature is more narrow. Like she just has more narrow shoulders. So it works for her. Now, when we talk about the drill that we did prior, how do we get the PVC to us? How are we getting it to us? What are we doing? Yeah, we're pulling it down. We're legit pulling it to our body. So we're going to do the exact same thing there. How do you create the most tension? Pull the apparatus to you. Don't bring your body to the apparatus. That is the number one cue on the rig that works tremendously well for any skill. So that's why I also warm you up with the PVC because I want you to get practice of bringing it to you, not you to it. So you almost want to think about yanking the bar down or the rig down to the, your body instead of bringing your body up. All right. That's um, Q1. All right. Q number two is now we're going to talk about the body position. Why did I have you tuck that rib? It's a prerequisite for the kick portion of the bottom. So watch the bottom of, watch my rib at the bottom of the skill. That's the bottom. So what's my rib doing? Here. That's the hollow rock we just did at the beginning. So I want you to understand there's a purpose behind every position I kind of put you in. Um, all right, now we're going to take that drill, what we did, and we're going to um, show you kind of how to add a little bit of the shaping at the top. So now my eye gaze, remember we were on the horizon for the strict drill. Strict drill. We're going to stay strict-ish but we're going to move our eye gaze to the 45. This is going to open the chest up. So it's going to look like this. 
So I'm here, I'm going to look. And without really even trying, my lower body follows. All right, we don't really have to think about it. So now we're getting into, we're starting out strict. We're adding a little more momentum. I'm not really stopping what I'm doing um, at the bottom of each rep. So let's go do one round of that where we now change our eye gaze to here. Our chest is a little more open. We're not kicking. I did not move my lower body. It just followed along. Got it? All right, one set of uh, three to four. Yeah, very nice, beautiful. Good, excellent. Now, that was really good. I would maybe challenge you to go out maybe just a bit wider, just to see if it's a little easier. Try it. Yep, right there. No swing, start, yep. I'll watch in a sec, good. How's that feel? Good. I think you'd be able to hit your chest quicker. It shortens your range of motion a little bit, and I think you'd be in a better position. Okay. Good. Thanks. All right, let me watch. Right. We're still, remember, we're still staying strict ish. We're not chest bar yet. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, so start just in a dead hang. Literally strict. Now just eye gaze right up there. Good. And then pull back, strict and forward. Yep. Mm hmm. Back straight forward. Eyes up a little bit more. Yep. Good. And do a few in a row. Mm -hmm. Because you're starting with a swing. So just lean back, tilt back. Yep. And good. Mm hmm. Good. And come down. That was good. That was much better. So, okay. Pull the bar down tug it down to you straight in a straight path. So if I'm kipping, if you like, uh, while I'm kipping, just, just clap. So I can stop at any point that you clap because I'm, all my muscles are in control. So the second we disengage a little bit, remember how I said you were swinging a little? Second we disengage the muscles, we lose control. So that might be why. Was taught, like, yeah, was to yeah. Everybody was taught lower body first, never upper body. So as soon as you finish your hips, yeah. you just let go. So right. Everything relaxes. Right. And you don't engage again yeah. until you're almost at the bottom. Does that make right. Sense? It does. So you're not supposed to do that. Well, um, I think that if you're strong enough, that makes a lot of sense. But I think a lot of athletes who learn it that way don't have the prerequisite strength, yeah, so, and yeah. so they bottom out. Yeah, but they yeah. never know how to get into active. I end up bottoming out until I get tired. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 exactly. Right. So. No, I see what you're saying. All right, come on around one more time. We have got to move the chest closer to the bar, so we work on chest to bar. We had a good conversation over here, just kind of like, um, everybody teaches this as a, let's, let's figure out the legs. Um, and I like to teach it as it's an upper body pulling strength skill. This is still a pulling movement. This still takes strength. But isn't it magical that your body just automatically start, your lower body just automatically starts to know what to do without even thinking because it's in sequence of what's going on with the control of your upper body. All right, now how do we get the chest closer to the bar every time? If you'll notice, I'm going to be scooping into hollow. And then right when I get to the point where my chest hits the bar, I drive my heels back and down quick. Now, why can my chest get to the bar and some people can only get their chin to bar? If I only kick to here, my body raises here. If I kick to here, my body raises here. So watch, I'm going to start off just doing small little kicks. Look at where um, my toes rise.
So lower my toes go, lower my pull is. Remember we talked about patience, why people don't hit their chest to the bar? They're not patient enough to let their toes rise. The tighter your core is, the more tension you have. Do your feet have to be together and straight? No, but it will pro provide more tension for you. Um, so we're gonna do a tactile drill. Bailey, can I use you again? With your group over here, you are going to put your hand right about their knee height. That's gonna be just a chest to bar a little bit. I mean, a, um, a regular butterfly pull. -up. Then I'm gonna raise, and I want her to hit, good. And then I want her to hit my hand. As she hits my hand, I tap back her um, feet, so she sends her heels back and down. Do you mind if I do it one more time? Um, regular uh, let's, let's go chest to bar. See how I'm like kind of forcing her back down? Thank you. So that's kind of what will help you guys learn the height you need to go. Now, how high do your hands want to go? Usually about mid thigh is about the length of the pole you'll, you'll need. So yeah, mid thigh from hanging is about the height of your partner's hand. Give or take how long your arm width is or arm, you know, how wide you hang how long your arms are, it's about. A little above the knee, try it there. Um, but remember, once your feet get there, you have to kind of return back to that um, arch position really fast. Now, um, I have one other thing to say. Slip my mind, hold on. Oh, why do you get wonky? Anybody know? Um, yes, rush or <coughs> every time you're hitting a different target height. So you have to, this is why the body awareness and spatial awareness is so necessary. You have to know where your body is in space. I actually closed my eyes to learn double unders. I listened to the rhythm of the rope and I felt my body move through space. So we do a lot of that in gymnastics, a lot of close your eyes and just balance. Where are you? Oh, I have to feel where I'm at. So this is a lot of um, muscle memory building that as well too. That's why the tactile cue is really helpful. All right. So here's what I want you guys to do with your partner. You're going to just kind of work your way up higher and higher. So we're going to start low and then we're going to slowly raise. Look at the top. I'm pulling the bar down to me. I never think about bringing my, my body to the bar. I always think about tugging it down. My elbows are pulling here. My back muscles are really engaged. Remember I had you guys do this? Pull down here. That was purposeful too. That's what you should feel up here. If you don't have strict pull-ups, I really don't want you doing this because you're gonna really jar your shoulders. Start working on that strict pulling strength. So go back to this drill and see if you can do a few in a row without pausing. All right, let's go. Um, let's try about five to seven reps, continuing to move a little higher and higher. I'll go around and then we'll have a workout with some really awesome chest to bars. Good. All right, about five to seven each. Let me go down here. All right. Hi. Hi. Can I watch you? Sure. All right. Do you have a partner tactile cueing you? All right. Do you have butterfly chest bar? Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're like, let me not answer that quite yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Pull the bar to you. Pull it to you. Yes. Very nice, excellent, really good. Good eye gaze, good tactile cueing. What I really liked about it was you could control the height. So you were like, okay, I wanna start off small. And even though he was tactile cueing, you were kind of controlling where your body was. That was really nice, very good, I liked it a lot. The only thing I say you could do 
is when you um, when you get into this position, think about spreading the bar just a little bit more. It'll you'll hit so quick um, and fire yourself up. Spread, you mean activate my back? A yeah, activate okay. your back by like, like, like this. With, with is good. With okay. is great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. It'll it'll you'll be like boop 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 okay. really fast. All right. I'm gonna come right in here. I have to hit your hand. <laughs> I have to hit your feet. No. Uh -uh. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. It's okay, you could so mess up. This is very new. It's not supposed to look good. Good, okay, calm down, come down. Okay, two things. One, grip, I want you a little wider. Wider? Yep, two. Can I see one of your strict? Um, yes, ma'am. Thanks. With, with the through? Um, yes, that please. That we just were working. You got it. A little bit wider, mm-hmm. Good. Okay. See how you stay really active here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you do that great. I wanted to see it because I'm like, let me see if you have the body awareness or strength. Yes, you have both. You have both. Cool. When you go to do the butterfly pull up, you drop right here. It. Okay. Yes. So I want you to start your first butterfly pull up like this. You're going to start your first one like this. Pull up. Got it. Then you're going to start to kick and I want you to go slow I never want yes okay. so start inactive and don't drop out of it all right get active wait Sorry, yep yes. that's okay that's okay get active pull high wait that's not active yes that's active now don't drop out of it okay oh slow down slow down good much much better just go slower though don't get so okay, don't go um don't feel so anxious to get to the bar. Okay. Just like work said, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. And your grip, let's go just a little bit wider. more narrow. Okay. Just a smidge. Narrow, I mean, you're a little narrow. Go just a little wider. Got it. Do you mind doing that one more time? Yeah, no problem. All right, we're going to go much slower, slower. though. As CrossFitters, we just want to go. Wider. I promise in the workout, you're going to get to go. Wider. <laughs> okay. Wider. Yep. And we're going to start off nice and active. Mm hmm. Lots to think about. All right, ready? Engaged, good. Now you don't have to ever think about that. Yep. Okay? Mm-hmm. Good, now eyes up on 45. Beautiful. And come down. Excellent. Thank you. Nailed it. That was beautiful. Remember all of that. All right, you're doing a little of what he's doing. Dropping at the bottom. Start inactive is what I told him then you never have to remember it because you feel the position. All right, do you know what I mean by that? Yep, yep. Don't just get up and start swinging. Get set. Just like in lifting, we build tension, then we lift the bar. Try that for me. Okay. Get active, yes. Now don't come out of that. Yes, yes. Come down, much better, much better. Excellent, good. All right. Come around. We have an awesome workout, but I wanted to conclude with a few things. Come around, come around. All right. Once again, I always use Sage's um, lifting um, to be an example that gymnastics and weightlifting are so similar. So similar. What do you do when you go to clean? Do you just rip it off the floor or do you get set? Huh, tight tension, right? Feet are starting to drive on the ground. The bar's still on the ground. So when we go for gymnastic skills, set yourself up for success. So if I just jump up and I just start moving around, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Cause I haven't, yeah, cause I haven't built any muscle memory. Every time I jump up, even if the clock is ticking, I want to train for excellence. When I go to a competition, then I don't have to think. It's already ingrained in my brain. So I'm going to jump up. I'm going to start an active. Then I'm going to jump. Because I never ever have to think about what active feels like. It's active is already there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any last questions? When I went to the gymnastics course not long ago, yes. we talked about wrapping the thumb. Yes. Yep. And I'm, I always have done thumbs over where I feel comfortable. I understand for like stability, maybe there, he was talking about thumbs. Yeah. And I understand maybe bar muscle ups you have to have. I don't, what's your 
Okay, that's, I'm so glad you brought that up. So, I grew up uh, six years old on as a gymnast, dowel grips, never wrapped, female bar, right. So, I was trained like that. It's very ingrained in my brain. I also have amazing body awareness. When I start to slip, I know how to re-grip or calm down. The two athletes that broke their ribs that I know had the suicide grip. You're the kettlebell swinging through <laughs> space. So do you kettlebell with your thumbs like this or do you grip it? So until you become really, really masterfully strong, I really do suggest thumbs around. I'll, di I'll go back and forth for demo purposes, but um, that is the reason I it's mainly for safety in my mind more than anything. Ah, oh, great question. Great question. Okay, first it's the eye gaze, right? Making sure you, you move your chin up and out of the way. Second, it's hitting lower. So you have to pull a little bit lower. If you're hitting here, then you're really close to your chin. So it's working on that strict strength of pulling that I find is helpful. Um, and I could look at your path of your arch and hollow that might have a little bit to do with it but mostly it's usually eye gaze and where you're hitting the bar anybody else um just one thing when you're kipping yeah no matter whether it's chest bar or regular butterfly mm -hmm. is it true that you need to kip vertically and pull yourself to the bar not kip towards the bar I um was, I was i'm not sure sometimes i if yeah. I mess up my rhythm sometimes, I'm kipping and my hips are going back. They're literally going towards the bar. Okay. Instead of up using your arm. I understand what you're talking about. Okay. A more vertical pull is quicker because you're going to stay within the rig in a smaller space as opposed to a more like um, elliptical pull, right? But the reason you're probably feeling that way is just putting your upper body in a better position. So if we put our upper body in the butterfly or chest bar, our hip can stay a little more inside, but our chest is in the right position. So yeah, to be more efficient, we want to be slightly more vertical than elliptical, if that makes sense. I teach it probably a little more elliptical in the beginning for people. And then once we go, we get fast. So if you watch like my chest bar, I don't hit very much, I'm not out here, you know, because I'm trying to get in, or my pull-ups, I'm trying to get in a tighter space. Good? All right, so the target practice is why it's very helpful. Make sure you have the prerequisite foundation strength. Thank you guys so much for being open to trying new things and for having me. And I absolutely am super passionate about this, so DM me if you have any questions. Um, on any of this and Rich is going to take a